what's going on you guys appreciate you guys being back here for another video today laying in the yard again in a different spot mentioned in one of my previous videos that i'm making some changes to my range shooting at 50 yards today shooting some norma tac 22 gonna shoot a few five round groups i don't like the place that i'm laying laying right here so i can get to 50 yards with the only backstop that i have um, I need to move some dirt once the ground gets dried up so I can make a couple different berms But this is what we're using for now kind of slanted downhill just a little bit. So it's an awkward angle, but shot 10 fowlers just now and uh, Gonna shoot a couple different five round groups and just see how this Norma TAC 22 does CZ 457 Pro Varmint Shot my 10 round Fowlers at the top left target. Let's go straight down from that. We'll go bottom left. Five there. I think the first one was a little low and to the left. Others weren't too bad. We're going to go bottom right for the next five. Ooh, that was a flyer. All right, there's two different five round groups. Go take a look at this target. So you can see here, got a KYL rimfire target. Got that set in there so we can try to shoot that today with the 22. Got a KYL center fire. Right here was my fouling group that I shot before the video started. First group just now, that was the first shot. And second group, I saw that one. That one got away a little bit, but man, you can see pretty tight there, not a bad group. Let's go shoot a few more, see how it does. So once I get everything set up, I'm really gonna like this little yard range here. You can see we're laying right here today. Hopefully the GoPro picks it up, but in between these two pines, I've got a wooden spool that I'm turning into uh, shooting bench and that's a hundred yards the bench works awesome for a hundred I'm just trying to get something set up for 50 yards so stay with me on that we're gonna keep making changes and turn this into a fun little range all right we're gonna do another two five round groups and uh, like I mentioned to you guys do have a lot of different ammos that I'm going to do an ammo test on. I'm just trying to get something solid set up here, a good shooting position. Um, want to give it a fair, fair chance so we can see what ammo performs the best out of my rifle here. But for today, we're just messing around with some of this TAC-22. And let's do two more five-rounders. Let's go dead center. Gonna go top right now. Wind's pushing us just a little bit left. Ah. All right, let's go check it out. 
All right, third group we went dead center. <laughs> Some horizontal stringing there. And there's our last group. So group one, they're all, I don't know, fairly consistent. Kind of a weird group there. All right, we'll finish up this video with a little shooting on the KYL. I moved back a little bit where I'm not tilted down as much. Moved the KYL forward so we're at 50 yards here. Uh, give her hell and see how she does here. A little breezy out today. See if I can clear this rack. 10 rounds. Got a camera down there on the PYL rack. And let's go. Things are so much fun. Last two, always the toughest. All right, eighth of an inch here. Oh, got it. Didn't even need extra rounds. Got two rounds left. Let's try that small one again. Got it. Last round, it's kind of swinging. There we go. Oh! Man, that's too much fun. KYL racks are awesome. I'm gonna do a full review on those at one point. Uh, pretty awesome company there. And um, I'll do a full review and put that out on the channel. Um, but I got that KYL rack there in the back for center fire. Just need a better berm. So make sure and stay tuned. We'll be shooting some center fire at it. And uh, like I say, just a lot more tinkering around here in the side range, side yard range. And uh, shooting out to 100 on this KYL, doing all kinds of stuff with this and center fire. So appreciate you guys being along. Happy hunting. Be safe. See you on the next one.